Let's watch for Caceres in this situation. He's underneath the ball. It's in. They've won it. Uruguay. Right at the death. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Little C here. I am such a big World Cup fan, and so I decided to make something really, really special, not just for me, but for you guys to enjoy. Now, in Japan, one of uh, my favorite dish there is called onigiri. It's basically a rice ball. So this time, I'll be transforming and making the biggest stuffed rice ball there is. And on the outside, it's gonna look like a soccer ball, just for the theme's sake, with different countries on top. Comment down below and tell me if you recognize any of those countries, okay? We're gonna get started now. The topping is very customizable. If you prefer to use other ones, please go on ahead. Pat the rice down to the container and make the mold. When that's done, put the plastic wrap over it and then use the ladle or anything round to smooth the edges around. Add a bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. When that's done, cover it with plastic wrap and let it chill in the fridge for 15 minutes. That will help the whole shapes. Now the fun part, add in any fillings you want, any amount is literally your soccer ball. So go right at it and go ham with it. I love my veggies, but I love my meats a lot. So I add in a lot, a lot of egg rolls as you can see. And once you're done, just put rice on it and cover it up with another layer. Put plastic wraps over it and let it chill in the fridge for a bit. Now the hard part is taking it off. So as I said, I didn't have the plastic wrap, so it was really hard, but I was able to kind of do it. Put the Nora sheet over it, flip it over, and then voila, you have your half soccer ball. I used the Nori um, sheet, cut it a little bit, and then outline make my soccer shape look pretty decent I have to say so these look like one big fat soccer ball now you get to decorate let me know if you can guess any of these flags and again like really, pardon my artistic skill, it was pretty bad. But I think I did a decent job. Like I could tell what some of them are. Then again, I'm the one that's making it, so I don't know. But yeah, this took a long time to make. Now look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my god, I'm gonna bring it up close to you. Like, look at this. Woo! This is a masterpiece. It takes me forever to do it. I'm not even kidding with you. But I recognize some of the flags. I hope you do too. Pardon my artistic skills, you see. That should look pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go and cut it out. Okay, so I just cut it open and oh my god, look at this, guys. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, I'm gonna go and try it now. Okay. This is so heavy, but uh, I'm just gonna try a part and then say. This is actually pretty good. You have that on the inside, which is like nice and savory kind of taste. And then on the outside, it's fruity. It's kind of help and refresh. I really like this. If you have time, Go make it, but if you don't, just like the pictures. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you are a World Cup fan, please give me a comment down below what country you're rooting for and if you recognize any of the country flags I made. Pardon my artistic skills. Give me one big thumbs up and subscribe to my video because it means so, 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 so much to me. Love you all. Follow my Instagram, handling right there, and see you next time. Bye.